Hi guys, you're welcome to the second part of this tutorial of consuming JSON API using the Android Cab View and also the Grid Recycler View layout. If you're just joining in this uh, part, I will implore you to get your hands on the first part because we've actually talked up a lot uh, in the first part where we talked about uh, the APIs. Uh, so package where we have the clients and service and we even uh, did a lot when it comes to the model so package when we uh, did a lot in the album and the albums response we've also integrated the albums adapter we've integrated the on click uh, item list there on each grid layout and now we'll be moving to the detailed activity so after i click on an item where are you pointing at which the intent says we're going to the detail activity so that takes us down to the detail activity which is still empty up now so we're actually going to be working on this in this particular part so we will be extending extends app compact activity and now we're going to have some fields the first is the text view is number of songs of song we need to have name of song oh, no problem That's what I should actually be maybe name of album or something no problem we have the image view which is the image view now I'll introduce the uncreate method public void create in there we'll pass the bundle save the instance state Call the super on create save the instant state set the content view to the R layout activity detail and now let's get support action bar to set display home as of enabled to true we get to handle this in the manner first now let's initialize image view equals to the image view find view by id call the r id thumbnail image header name of song of course as we be a text view find view by id our id name the, the name or let me look at it. Let's look at the detail so that I'll be sure. Text view name. Okay, that it's name. Back to the detail activity. Now we need to undo number of songs. Number of song equals to another text view. Text view. Find view by ID method. ID time is going to be number of songs data now we need to call the string of song name equals so we get intent because we actually share the name number of songs and some name you can't get what you didn't share so get extras 
the get a string. So now over here we pass the key, which is the name. Close that there. The same thing goes for the number of songs. Got a number of songs. Get into it, get extras. Now you need to change this key to number of songs. The last one will be the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Get it, set, get extras, get string to thumbnail. Now you need to set each text to its appropriate text view. First is the name of song. Set text. Song name. Second is number of song. Set text. Number of songs. The third will be the thumbnail. So now you're going to use Glide to load these up for pop check. With this class, load the thumbnail. Into a placeholder. As that should be a placeholder, which is going to be like the default picture, drawable, the load GIF. I'll quickly show you this GIF. It's actually my drawable. You can see it's the load. This like loading, you know, it's good for user experience, just not so that they don't just keep waiting. Uh, what is going to be displayed here but once they see the icon loading they notice okay something is loading into image view grab the set and let's set the title to this activity afterwards I set the title we're just going to get support action bar set title let's call it details activity That's cool. This is how to get uh, extras intent data, you know, and populate it to this corresponding uh, view, which is activity detail. And you know, we created text view that will populate the image, uh, the name of song, and also for the number of song, and even the an image view that will actually display that. We did that right in the detail activity XML done that can you notice this so this will be the image this will be for the name of album you know that's name of song and this will be uh, for the number of songs you can see that we've already set uh, the layout so that's what we've done right there in the detail activity to populate that those empty layouts with the value text you know this is the key so but we need a value that's why we're getting the value to get the string get intent get extras you know so from here we'll look at the manifest we need to do something quickly right there in the manifest very important our app item no action bar fine we have an intent field there fine now we need to lock in an activity which is the detail we have a detail activity android name called a detail activity and uh, let's make this activity uh, uh, a child to the main activity. So we're going to call Android parent activity name because we are pointing it to a parent, which is the main activity. Close that right there. Uh, we have an activity. So we need to create a metadata for this particular activity or by we call the android name uh, call the android support 
parent activity. That's fine. And we call the value, which will be main activity. That's what PS dirt tells that right there. So we've registered the detail activity. So, but if you didn't do this, it's going to crash on the click of an item. It's going to tell you that this particular activity is not registered in the manifest. So you have to do this as well. And uh, we will need an internet permission because we've moved our data to the cloud. It's no more locally. It's no more. So I'm going to actually do the destroyable now. I'll be doing this now. So this is actually going to help your APK. It's going to reduce space. You don't need. It's not going to make it voluminous. No, you can undo the data externally. So we we'll need use internet permission. I might have might have passed it. GH I internet. That's it. So we need to. I'll be deleting this, anyways. Maybe I'll just. Or let me just go straight to the code. No, let me go straight to where it sits. The studio project over there. App source main rest tribal. Got it here. Take it off. So that you know that it's actually deleted. Now that I'm trying to play in a fast one. And see the only drawable I have is the IC dot. Oh, I've I've actually taken away. Sorry, let me undo this. I need the drawable. Let me look at something quickly here. I need the drawable for this um load. Where is this line? Or oh, is it over there? No problem. So I'll just take this off. I thought I deleted it alongside, but no problem. I'm just move to trash and I'm fine. Close that out. So we don't have that. We only have the load drive. Everything is still fine. So I'll actually be testing this out in the emulator so that we're able to see what we've really done, how far we've gone, where our pumps adapter, detail activity, and even the main activity. You've learned a lot from this. So let's test it out. Don't go anywhere. So here we go. You can see them uh, fully loaded. Maroon 5, Sugar Ray, Bon Jovi, The Cars, The Cranberries, Westlife, Black Eyed Peas, Viva La Vida, even The Cardigans and Pussycat Dolls. So a click on any one of them uh, should actually populate. Uh, you can see the cover page, the name of the album, Pussycat Dolls, the number of songs in the album, three songs. Uh, you can easily go back, back. No, it's still try to fetch this. Uh, let's look for Sugar Ray. Uh, no, it's actually it depends on your internet. Of uh, okay, you can see that populated Sugar Ray. No, that's our album cover. Quite big. I think this is good. Uh, this would actually improve more on this uh, source code. So I think this is much better. Uh, let's look for Maroon Five. Uh, we should have the album cover here. That's fine. Maroon Five. Let's get out, you know. Can you see that? Working quite cool. And even uh, you have the smooth scroll, no breaks, no error whatsoever. Let's look for the cranberries. Uh, that's cool. That's fine. So, this is it. This is just how to achieve uh, an, an on item click on a fetched data from JSON. You know, uh, it's uh, very cool and it's good for your learning. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel we have a lot to really talk about when it comes to android development bye bye for now